sentinel events and near miss events it is an unanticipated occurrence because means you are not prepared of okay that is sentinel events you are not prepared of you do not you you may have to create a new sop for this okay a new protocol for this kappa measurements has to be taken so uh, so not every event that is unanticipated becomes a sentinel event okay uh, for example loss of article okay loss of money uh, like let's say uh, the the cash collected okay the a, a ca the cash collected from your uh, billing desk completely got stolen lakhs and lakhs of rupees okay lakhs and lakhs of rupees got stolen will you consider it as a sentinel event From your billing department from your from the billing disk lakhs of rupees that was revenue collected okay on a specific day that got stolen will you consider that as a sentinel event no it is not okay because there was no serious death injury or psychological injury, physical injury that has been caused. So that is not a sentinel event. Okay. It is unanticipated, definitely, but not a sentinel event. Okay. It will be coming under theft. Okay. A law enforcement will uh, act on it. Okay. So they signal a need for immediate investigation and response. Okay. So usually when we talk about sentinel events, we can categorize them into various categories like surgical device, care management, environmental, patient protection, radiologic event, criminal events. Okay? There are different categories of it. Medication errors, delayed treatment. You can see some of the central events that JCHO uh, has mentioned here, Joint Commission. Okay, They have mentioned few few examples on screen. On the pie chart, you can see. Okay. So even according to Joint Commission, it defines sentinel event as a patient safety event that results in death permanent harm or severe temporary harm as well okay central events are debilitating to both patients and healthcare providers okay who is in, who are involved in the event and this term refers to a system of, of issue that may result in severe similar events in the future if you don't care or don't take care, uh, care of what caused this all the factors that caused or led to a central event it will happen again in the future, okay? So even in India, according to the National Quality Forum, okay, uh, these are, central events are termed as preventable, serious, unambiguous adverse event that never ever should occur, okay? These are preventable events. They are serious in their nature, unambiguous, they are unexplainable, uh, okay? And unexpected events, that happened right now, but in the future, it should never happen. So that's the steps that you have to, that's the degree of the steps that you have to take to prevent it from happening in the future. Previously, central events included events that only occur to patients, okay? But now it is not like that, okay? Uh, anyone who is in the hospital's premises, anyone, any human being or animal in the hospital premises, okay, is hurt, is seriously hurt, is dead, okay, or severely injured because of any causes within the hospital premises, which was preventable and still it happened, okay, that comes under sentinel event. But earlier, in the early stages of hospital administration and all, whatever happened to the patient, if preventable events did occur and led to death, for patients, that was called, called sentinel events, but now it is not the case. So, sentinel events may include any 
unanticipated death okay or a major permanent loss of function unrelated to the patient's natural course of illness or underlying conditions okay wrong site wrong procedure wrong patient surgery okay these all comes under sentinel events transmission of a chronic fatal disease okay for example uh, an hiv positive blood was transfused to a normal person these cases have happened in hyderabad to a child it happened the blood that was transfused transfused to a child that was hiv positive and the child became hiv positive okay so the that's a sentinel event okay so chronic fatal disease was given to a child a normal child okay so that is also an example of sentinel events or giving any contam transplanting contaminated organs infected organs or tissues infant abduction kidnapping a child or children going missing are very common th than they actual than we actually think about it okay newborn baby ab abduction and all are very common or children who are sent or with wrong parents after birth the wrong child was given to the wrong parent then rape work or place uh, violence any form of assault okay homicide that is murder okay any any murder of, of anyone who if it is if a murder takes place within the hospital's premises a rape a physical assault or any form of workplace violence that takes place within the hospital's premises it all will come under sentinel event okay it's not that who is affected surgery on the wrong individual wrong body part okay even retained foreign body after surgery in some cases after surgery if some uh, items have been left back in the body okay that also comes under sentinel events Even falls, for some major falls that may have happened and that could lead to death, okay? Uh, somebody slipped, tripped, fell, got their head severely injured, they died on spot or they went into coma, okay? This all also comes under central events. Medication errors that led to death, okay? Delay in treatment that led to death. Criminal events, all form of criminal events. Uh, maternal death during labor okay mother passing away while giving birth that's also an example of it So what are non-sentinel events? Any event, any mishap that happened, but it did not cause any harm to the patient or anyone else within the premises. Okay, that doesn't come under sentinel event. Okay, any malfunctioning equipment also is not under sentinel event. But if a malfunctioning equipment led to the death okay, of a patient, that would come under central element okay for example the defibrillator okay that was not functioning it it is not a central event but while you are giving care to a patient while you are trying to resuscitate a patient and at that point of time the the defibrillator did not work okay and because of that fraction of second or because of this malfunctioning of the equipment, the patient may have passed away. Otherwise, the patient would have been saved. Okay, so that becomes a sentinel event. Okay, so what was the result of a malfunctioning equipment? That is important to identify it as a sentinel event or not. Lift failures and all, they are not sentinel event. But because of lift failure, a patient got stuck in the lift, did not get care on time. There was a delay in treatment because the patient was stuck in the lift. Yes, that becomes a sentinel event, okay?
तो प्रिवेंशन पॉलिसी और हाउ डू यू रेस्पॉन्ड टू सेंट्रल इवेंट यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव पेशेंट केयर एंड प्रिवेंट एनी एनी सेंट्रल इवेंट दैट हैज टू प्लेस इन द पास्ट ओके बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू हैव टू क्रिएट पॉलिसीज एंड हियर हॉस्पिटल लीडरशिप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके दे हैव द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट रोल्स to understand what is a central event and how to take care of it okay so again it's not just the responsibility of hospital leadership but they have to the hospital leadership has to take uh, the they have to take the first step towards making a policy okay then root cause analysis has to be done so you have to gather all relevant information who was where what happened how things went wrong okay where was the patient who was dealing with the patient okay from all the sides a 3 degree uh, 360 degree thought process and brainstorming has to be done to find out the root cause so okay? you can use five by technique and all for this then within 45 days the root cause analysis has to be done report has to be ready within 45 days 45 days is the maximum you should be able to answer all the questions that arises from this history okay it may be you may have to give some press conference you may have to be in front of a court okay the hospital may be sued or anything can happen so within 45 days you should be answerable and accountable for what all had had prevailed okay then kappa corrective action preventive action okay that is that is a full form of kappa so right now if a central event took place what can we do to control the damage that is kappa corrective action what can we do to control the damage that has been done okay all the steps that goes into controlling the damage may be giving compensation okay referring the patient to somewhere else okay uh, maybe uh, if it is a court case or something doing out of court settlements and all okay that come under corrective action preventive action learning from the mistakes what can you do so that this central events will not be happening in the future okay so that is preventive action that is kappa has to be done then recording recording all the record, recording and reporting okay develop a strong action plan you have to record and report okay who is who was accountable who or where okay have a protocol of report, reporting system like if you witness a sentinel event happening okay there should be an action plan to whom you have to go and speak okay whom will you dial when if you have a landline in front of you a sentinel event took place okay immediately whom will you call who should be the first one who should uh, get this news okay so that that kind of protocol should be put in place then adverse incident form again uh, every department will have an adverse in incident form based on which you will be putting the details okay uh, of uh, the time place who uh, witnesses okay all all these details will be put into writing and that will be submitted adverse incident form will also be used as a legal tool as well if a uh, if a case has been put on okay trained staff staffs has to be trained 
okay the staff should have a knowledge on what areas an adverse event or a central event can happen and if at all it happens how to react how to respond how to control the situation okay so so in all these areas trainings has to be given respective or department will train the staff Identifying an incident as a sentinel event is not an indicator of legal liability. Okay, just because it was uh, identified as a sentinel event doesn't mean all sentinel event events will have a legal liability. Okay, for example, um, a murder took place in the hospital. Okay, uh, so even for uh, let's say. Uh, the RG car hospital, the rape case that happened in Kolkata. Okay. Um, do you think the hospital has a legal liability or the culprits have the legal liability? The incident, the sentinel event that took place in RG car hospital, I guess everyone is aware of it. Okay. It, that is a sentinel event, right? That that was a sexual assault as well as a murder that happened during the night duty time in a hospital. Okay? So, it's a sentinel event. So, the burden of the legal liability will fall on whom? Is the hospital as an entity will bear the legal liability? of this central event or the culprits who could have been or may not have been part of the hospital. We do not know yet completely because the case have, is going on. It's not solved yet. Okay, So until and unless a verdict is out, we cannot guess, right? So what do you think? In the RG Khar uh, Hospital of Kolkata, the situation that has arised, does the hospital have a legal liability or is it the culprits who have the who have to face the judiciary system it is the culprits okay so the hospital uh, is not liable here until and unless it is proven that the doctors or the staff of the hospital are found culprit are found guilty okay until and unless we do not have the culprits or we do not have the person who is guilty until and unless a verdict hasn't been passed, okay, uh, the hospital, the legal, the onus of the legal uh, liability doesn't fall on the hospital yet. Okay, that's why the hospital is still functioning, right? So next coming to near miss incidents. So a near miss is an unplanned event that did not result in an injury, illness or damage, but it had the potential to do so. Okay, every near miss, every medication error that happens, for example, every medication error that happens has the potential to cause permanent damage, death or illness Okay, to the patient, every medical uh, error. But we do not call every medical error as a sentinel event. It is a near miss event. Okay. Only if it had caused a permanent injury, illness, damage, death, then it is a sentinel event. Otherwise, all the other events are considered near misses. Okay. Near misses. And it had the potential to cause damage, but it did not. Okay. So, near miss events, it implies to all potential medication errors. Okay, all types of uh, medical medication errors and all potential medication errors come under near miss events. The hospital establishes a definition of near miss and what type of events are also to be reported as near misses. There is a reporting mechanism that is put into place, like if a nurse a nurse has witnessed a near miss. Whom will she report it? She will report it to her staff, uh, to a staff in charge. The staff in charge will report to the matron. 
okay, may turn to the nursing administrator and to the medical officer and so on. There is a reporting mechanism. You see a near miss, you see uh, a nurse giving wrong injection to a wrong patient or something like that. You don't immediately run to the director and inform it, right? You have to inform it to the staff nurse who will take a corrective action then and then. And then the reports, okay, these are the events that happened today. Those reports will go to the director, okay? So that is how that reporting mechanism works. There is a process to aggregate and analyze the data to learn where a productive process changes will reduce or eliminate the relative event or near miss. So that will only come with properly studying and analyzing the near misses. Okay, properly studying and seeing, finding the root cause and all. Okay, through all the areas, finding the root cause. And for each root cause, find a solution to eliminate it. Okay, so that it does not take place in the future. So the hospital establishes a definition of near miss. Okay, it is it is on the hospital. The hospital will define the type of events that are that are supposed to be near miss. Okay. For example, if a, if a bottle of phenyl is missing from the housekeeping department, that is not a near miss event, okay? Medication error, that is a near miss event. So it is the hospital who will define what are the events that will be termed as near misses and what are the events that will not come under near misses. The hospital will establish a process of reporting near miss, uh, near misses, okay? Like, as I mentioned earlier, a staff nurse is witnessing a near miss. Whom she, will she report? And from there, where it will go? How it will move forward? Okay. Data are analyzed, analyzed and actions taken to reduce near miss events. So that uh, you have to do an in-depth case study. Okay. Then near miss events. Uh, if you see the probability of near miss events happening, okay, three lakh on an average in a hospital on a particular day, on any given day, okay, three lakh unsafe acts do take place, okay, either they are not washing their hands properly, not taking care of patient safety, okay, not giving the correct health education not diagnosing the patient properly. Okay? Uh, so uh, almost 3 lakh unsafe acts do take place on an average. Out of that, 600 becomes near misses in which the patient came into close contact to an adverse event. Okay, in 600 times. And out of the 600 times, 30 times the patient actually got affected by the near miss, minor ailments or something. It was not life-threatening. 10 times what happened was it was a life-threatening situation that happened because of near miss. The patient came came into the near miss, got affected, and it was a serious effect. Okay. Maybe they were in ICU for some few more days or something like that. Okay. And finally, out of those 10 serious events, one could be a death. And that one event that led to death, we call them a sentinel event. So you can see. How from unsafe act, we got near misses and from how from near miss, we got a sentinel event. Okay, this happens, this probability of one sentinel event taking place in the hospital is all, always there on a day-to-day -day basis. On a day-to-day -day basis, there is always a probability of one sentinel event taking place in the hospital. Okay. So that's about sentinel events and near miss events. If you have any queries, please mention in the chat box.